morning, friends. How, how's your week starting off? I hope it's going well. It's Monday here, and I am... Oh, I'm a little bit... Like, I did not get to editing last night. I tried to edit on the night of the day I film. I did not do that. So I, I woke, you know, I woke up at my kind of usual time. I did my usual kind of 30 minutes of yoga, and then I just spent... A, a couple hours on the edit, but the video is going up. It'll be on time. I have to run errands. I need to eat breakfast and I want to get a workout in. And I have, it's going on, it's 8.25. So I have about three hours until I need to start getting lunch ready for my son and go pick him up. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my errands first. I'm gonna run to Whole Foods. I I know I feel like I've been doing a lot of errand running lately and I did a lot more last week than I typically do in a week. Um, I just think with the holidays and it's just, I don't know, there's just more erranding, but I definitely need to go to the grocery store for real. Like I went to a grocery store a few days ago and I just got <laughs> olives and creamer, but I need like the, our actual weekly shop. So I've shown this before. I keep a running list in my kitchen everything drawer as I go through any part of the day where I'm like, oh, we're running out of this or we're going to need this next time. I write it down. And then what I do is I write it in order of the way I shop before I go to the store. Keeps it fresh in mind. Oh, I do need my, my face, um, my lotion, my um, tinted moisturizer. Almost forgot, and I need some more Epsom salts for the bath. Anyway, so I'm gonna go to Whole Foods. I just realized I'm like a little late to figuring this out, but I just realized you can do Amazon return orders without having to prepackage them or anything. Right at Whole Foods, you just like get a code, you bring the item in, and you just hand them the item, and they scan the code, and then they pack and ship it for you. It's so easy. So I did actually didn't even remember. <laughs> this is one of those. Amazon, like, did I really order that kind of moments where I showed you guys the glow bites lights, the um, battery operated ones that I ordered in my mail time video. I didn't realize I also ordered these plug-in ones, but they're, um, I don't like the like light color that they shine in. They have a very blue toned light and I like more yellow toned Christmas lights. I don't know. So I'm gonna return them. I don't need them too. <laughs> That's the main thing. So I'm gonna return those at the Whole Foods. And I need to swing by the old house because I accidentally sent a couple of packages there. They just like auto-filled my old addresses. Does that ever happen to you when you move? Luckily, I don't live that far away from the old house, so it's not that big of a deal, but I do need to swing by and get those packages. Um, and yeah. I've got the laundry going, I've got the video done, and I gotta eat something at some point. Oh, I made the tea, the gingerbread tea from the advocate calendar yesterday, it was a black tea. I made it this morning, I had it while I was editing, I made a little tea latte with it. Fantastic, so good. All right, let's go to the store. I'm also gonna swing by donation drop off. That's two bags deep. That's all stuff to go, yay! It's crookedness, it's real. Hey, okay, so that was efficient. I got everything sorted, and so good to drop off those donations, that feels good. Y'all seem to like it when I show my grocery hauls. This is very standard. I usually do a grocery run twice a week, um, just because we go through a lot of fresh produce. Otherwise, I'd only go once a week. But that's what happens. So I'm just gonna show you these are very standard things that I'll get on a mostly weekly basis. The best, the best bread. This is the seduction bread from Whole Foods. They hand bake it in store. These are super yummy bagels. If you love bagels. Dave's uh, killer bread, everything bagels. And this is the bread my kids like. Other sandwiches, the double fiber from Rudy's. Some more tortillas because we just have these on hand for tacos or burritos or quesadillas. Never tried the siete, is that how we say that? Um, versions, but oh, why not? These are on sale 
and definitely go through a lot of mini marshmallows in the winter with our cocoa and cake. Dandies are the best. They don't have gelatin in them if you are particular to that. They got, this is the cheese the kids like in the Mexican blend they like and sometimes we make Mexican style food and I bought some of my favorite um, plant-based cheese shreds. Um, that's my list. I got a lot of avocados. It must be another bag. So I got four avocados and a lime. The limes are terrible. I had to really pick through those. This is our favorite hummus. It's delightful. Cedars organic. I got some tofu. So I think I'm going to make tof uh, peanut tofu this week for dinner one night. I got these cucumbers that the kids love. We go through so many of those. Um, this is the butter um, alternative spread that I like, Earth, Earth Balance. I buy their sticks for baking, and I like the spread if I ever want to, like, butter something. And then this is the um, tinted moisturizer I was talking about from Juice Beauty that I've used and loved for years now. I started using Juice Beauty skincare when I was pregnant with Charlotte five and a half years ago. More than that. Wow. My children love, love, love this popcorn. Love, love, love it. The lesser evil pink salt, Himalayan pink salt. Of course, I always get Epsom salts to have on hand for bath time. Um, sometimes we pack juice boxes and sometimes we don't. In lunches, in school lunches, I don't know, Cece goes in and out of phases. But we've never tried these hint ones. She loves anything watermelon, so I thought we'd give those a try. They're pretty clean in terms of ingredients. And then, of course, standard weekly top-up of Oatly. Full fat, it's great for baking. I use it for hot cocoa for us. Anything, really. And then the barista is my favorite to foam. Although the full fat, which is more fat content, I think, even than the barista, foams beautifully. Eggs. And blueberries were a tiny bit on sale. Here's the rest of the avocados. Um, I like to have them on rotation. I actually don't have any right now. I usually have at least like one or two avocados in rotation. The bananas also looked awful. So I just bought two and I'll have to go back to the store anyway later in the week. I'll get new bananas. That Donnie's really the only one that eats bananas in the family currently. And then grapes. And that's it. That's it. And then what I had accidentally sent to the um, old house is this um, USB-C charging cord. And I just realized I also purchased the USB-C charging bank, like the little the thing you plug in. It's being delivered today to the old house, of course, so I'll have to make another trip back there, um, but that's all right. Um, yes, that's that's what I got. So this is a long one, because I kind of want, this is almost 10 feet for future, um, one day we'll travel again, right guys, one day. All right, I'm gonna put this away, I'm gonna take Winnie out for a walk, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit the gym, my gym, I'm gonna hit my gym. I wanna see something funny, check out this side eye. Wanna go for a walk? Oh, the first time I said, I just got the side eye. All right, let's go. Holy smokes, that is loud. All right, let's just, let's turn it off so I can talk to you for a second. Let me get my iron cord. Please excuse the, excuse the state of affairs behind me. Okay. Is there water in there? Yeah, I think there's enough. So, one of my least favorite things, like house management things to do, is iron. And I try to avoid it as much as possible. Also, wet hair don't care. Uh, but, as it turns out, you do have to iron some things sometimes. At least I do. And one of the things I can't stand is like creased sheets that you can see. So my daughter has these super cute frozen sheets, but when they come out of the dryer, 
they look like this. It drives me nuts. So I do press them. Not perfectly. I don't spend that much time on it. I don't do it that well. But I press her pillowcases and I press the top portion of her top sheet that folds over her quilt. I regret buying her these sheets because when my son moved into a big kid bed earlier this year, I got him jersey sheets. They come out of the, uh, the dryer like this, perfectly ready to be put on the bed, no ironing required. And I bought myself these super schmancy linen sheets, by the way, parachute was in my gift guide. <gasps> They are, I mean, I feel like I am now sleeping on the best bed situation I have ever slept on at any high uh, luxury class, I don't know what I'm saying, resort or hotel, I, and I've stayed at some really, really nice ones, not even close. I have a purple mattress, which I've had since last fall, which I love when my children are a little bit older. I am totally upgrading them to purple mattresses. And I know I'm gonna get comments, why don't you buy them for them now? Because they're little. We still have accidents sometimes. CC not so much, but I mean, I do have waterproof mattress pads. It's also like, they jump on the bed even though they're not supposed to. Like, you know, when you buy them like a $2,000 mattress, <laughs> you don't want it to be something that's gonna get ruined. So. When they're a little older, I will totally upgrade them, for sure. And when they're this little, and their bodies are this little, it's like sleeping on, it just, they don't, I don't want to say this, they don't make much of a dent. So, having a less uh, expensive mattress is fine for right now. But anyway, eventually, yes, I will upgrade them. This is the purple mattresses, you guys are where it's at. Oh, my sister in my warmer sister-in-law. I still don't know. I don't know how to say these labels yet. I really don't know what is appropriate. Nobody in the family cares. Like, we all still think of each other as family, even though we're not technically in-laws anymore. We are bound together forever by the ties of family. But the internet cares a lot about what labels you use. And as it turns out, I never pick the right labels. Ever. And you know what? I really hate labels to begin with. Yeah, it can be important for um, kind of placing people, I guess, sometimes, but at the same time, it, it's awful. And this is labels for anything. So I, I know labels can be a source of pride for so many, but they also just hurt so many people and exclusion. I'm getting off on a tangent. This is like the ironing, the ironing rant. Because I really hate on I really don't hate it that much. I just put it off. I actually really don't hate ironing. Why do I think I hate ironing? I I'm not very good at it. I've never like put a lot of time and thought. Like I don't have products I use. I just have a, a really nice steam iron, a Rolenta that I've had for many, many years. And um, see, it's still a little creasy. And if I was really particular, I would fix that. But that's good enough for me and it's certainly good enough for Charlotte. Oh, look at this little shirt. So cute. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the bed. Anyway, I got myself these beautiful linen sheets that I'd honestly been thinking about for a very long time. I knew when I moved into this house I was going to upgrade my bedroom to be my sanctuary. I got all new furniture, which I love. I got the new mattress last fall, which I love. And then I got myself the linen bedding and it is incredible and I love it and now I'm uh, still in the process eventually we'll finish those gosh darn bookshelves but I have just not been that hurried with it there's other things that demand my time and attention right now and that's just like, very high on the priority list in fact it's not on the priority list at all we always roll up these sleeves so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fuss too much about this cup anyway you know what, by the time it's spring, this is not going to fit him anyway. But I will iron it for whoever it gets donated to. Um, yeah, the judgmental, the judgy judgers. 
and the labels, it's just bleh. Anyway, long story short, I caught off on so many tangents on that one. That, that's like a record for tangents for me. Uh, buy, buy the jersey sheets. What an amazing invention, especially for children's kids. Because A, they, I find, I've never met a child who's really cared if their sheets are wrinkly, but they do care if their sheets are soft. And the jersey sheets are super soft. Those I got at Target. A really good price. I think I even got them on sale. I have two sets of them. I always like to have two sets of bedding for the kids. You never know when in the middle of the night you need to throw something <laughs> new on the bed. So I have you know, two waterproof um, mattress uh, protectors for both of them. Two sets of sheets. I even have extra pillows. Although I have recently upgraded to waterproof pillow protectors for them. And this is because, I did this because CC, let's see, this has got to be two, two and a half, maybe about two years ago now. It was before Donnie, maybe three years ago. It was a long time. It was before Donnie, I think. It's been a long time. But there was two instances where she threw up in the middle of the night. This was a long time ago. This is such a cute shirt. Anyway, um, and when you throw up in bed, as a young child, she was like two or younger, you just throw up where you are, especially if you throw up while you're sleeping. And so she threw up all over a pillow. And I was like, this is the heart. I had to wash the pillows. Luckily I had extra pillows to swap out so she could, I could put her back in, you know, those were nights where I had to give her a bath in the middle of the night and make sure she was well and she was fine. Those were just like little stomach bugs that sometimes kids get or anybody, anybody gets those. But yeah, so now I have extra bedding, lots of waterproof protectors for pillows and mattresses and I have extra pillows and I always have two loveys. So from the, you know, from the first lovey, Bunsy, I always had two and I keep them in rotation. It's also helpful if one of them gets wet or dirty or puked on in some instances to have a clean one in reserve. And also when you're dealing with loveys and children who love their loveys so much that they want to be with them 24 seven, it's really hard to clean. If you only have one, they'll panic they sleep with it like if they can't sleep without it how are you gonna wash that if it's with your child all the time so that's why I always recommend two loveys give them start at the, as soon as you introduce the levy put them into a rotation make sure you wash them to your comfort level I do once a week for both loveys for both children and that seems to suffice for us um, and yeah, if one gets like damaged or something and has to go to the lovey hospital and gets sewn up by surgeon mommy, we have the other one ready in the wings to save the day. This is like laundry talk. Laundry talk with Jen. The randomness expands when I'm ironing. But anyway, yeah. So what have I been up to since I last saw you? Worked out? Um, obviously I showered, I picked up Donnie, and fed him lunch, and fed me lunch, and answered comments, and had some hot chocolate, because I was really in the mood, so while I sat for a while and answered comments, I um, enjoyed a nice cup of cocoa, which was very satisfying. I like to have my treats. If I'm gonna have a treat, I like to have it in the afternoon. And yeah, so I have about 20 minutes until I have to get Donnie up so we can go collect his sister. We have all the advent calendar, their advent calendars to catch up on, which they'll be excited about. And um, I'm excited to see Cece. Um, I miss them so much when they're not here. It just feels like. It feels like Christmas morning, honestly. Every time they come back, even if they haven't been gone very long. So that's one of the, I guess that's one of the silver linings that I miss them, but 
the time that I get reunited with them is extra sweet and it happens multiple times a week. And also I feel like um, I'm just really grateful for the time we have together. Not that I wasn't before, but when it's not every day that you spend with your children, at least for me, comparatively between now and when I did spend every single day with them, um, it is a little different. I, it, I just, I think that would be true with anything that's really important to you, that you don't get to a person or a whatever, that you don't get to see as much as your heart would want in a perfect world, but uh, it's all good. Okay, so I'm going to finish this, I'm going to make Cece's bed, go get Donnie, and then family time. I have a confession to make. My dryer doesn't dry. And it hasn't for a couple of months. It's essentially an air drying machine. And I haven't done anything to look into getting it fixed. Or even check, pulled it out and checked it out myself. I've been putting this whole way off. It also kind of rattles. I'm not sure it's, I mean, it's got the dryer balls in it. The thumping is that, but I don't think it's supposed to rattle. I really ought to do something about this. Let's just, let's just brush our hair a little bit. Not that it's mostly dry. Um, it's so annoying. Mostly I'm annoyed at myself for not doing anything about it, but it's getting to the point where I'm just wasting so much electricity air drying things in the dryer, especially the sheets. Like, I hang up most all of my clothes anyway. I like line dry. The kid stuff is small, so it doesn't take that long to dry, but anytime I do towels and sheets, which obviously I do on a regular basis, takes forever. And I do end up hanging some things up, kind of like over the banister and stuff to dry, but I really should just get it fixed. But I don't, I don't know if it's just like an issue where maybe I need to have the ducts cleaned. I don't even know who to call. It's not under warranty. I didn't purchase the machine. I came with the house. So I don't, I don't really know what to do with it, but it's only like, I think the machine is about a year old. I think it needs to be replaced unless there's something like really wrong with it. So who, who should I call for that kind of thing? I don't know what kind of repair person I would call. And is it a bad idea for me to pull it out and check the fittings myself? Like how bad of an idea is that when I don't know what I'm doing? <laughs> also, I realize why I don't enjoy ironing. It's time consuming. It like, it just, it takes a long time and you can't multitask when you're ironing. And I like to be moving around pretty much all the time. So I don't like just standing there, even though I'm being productive, it feels not, it doesn't feel productive. I'm learning to embrace productivity in slower ways this year has been something that I've been learning to embrace. Well, there you have it. It's not perfect, obviously, but it looks nice and neat and not so crinkly wrinkly. Just slightly crinkly, crinkly wrinkly. Of course, they have that whole couch and they have to argue over the one spot. We decided it's chilly. We're going to make a fire and we're getting takeout. Mama's not cooking so I can be around and be monitoring the situation. I can't build a fire when I'm going to be in the kitchen, you know, but we're still fighting over this one spot. Hey y'all, I meant to wrap this up earlier and I just lost track of time. So um, I just want to say thanks for watching. Hope you guys are all well and I'll see you here tomorrow. Happy Vlogmas. Hope your week is off to a good start. Take good care. Bye.